And welcome back. We're here with uh, Harangi and Action uh, going on a little Heartbreak Ridge uh, match. I, I don't know if you call it a match so much as a, maybe it's sort of a, a peaceful coexistence so far, or yeah. so far on the part of Harangi. He's he's not, not really shown any level of aggressiveness. He tried to go up there and uh, and take out a third expansion that he thought was in the uh, the northeast uh, by action, but you know, since he went the wrong direction, uh, we haven't seen him do much of anything. His Corsair's strategy is totally fizzled out at this point. So yeah, once he uh, once those DTs didn't work out, he he decided to just play it as a no rush ten, and uh, he's hanging out right now. But um, he's gonna be forced into action pretty quickly because action is coming in with a full <laughs> group of mutilists, and yeah, he's already taken out one Corsair. He's gonna come in. He's gonna be able to take out this. Uh, Oh, what a <laughs> sick Maelstrom! Oh, sorry about that clap. I just got really excited. That was an amazing Maelstrom. I saw that Dark Templar, I mean the Dark Arc on there. I was wondering when he was going to be able to use it. And uh, apparently he researched Maelstrom really fast. So, yeah. you know, as I was saying, it was a you know pretty standard build to begin with. But going for uh, Dark Archons and Maelstrom uh, oh. right off the bat is um, you know, not standard in the least. Uh, yeah. But Action's still being a pest with those uh, Mutalists. Unfortunately, he got the Maelstrom off, but he didn't have Archons in position to start wailing on those frozen uh, Mutalists. So those Mutalists, Mutalists are still out and relatively unharmed. Uh, meanwhile, Action has teched up the Lair, and he's got his Defiler Mound going up, so he's pushing this into the late game very quickly. Um, you know, and I I'm wondering how effective researching Maelstrom first is going to be because he is going to want High Templars and Psionic Storm uh, pretty quickly because that huge group of Lings, for instance, is um, you know would be a great target to wipe be wiped out completely by one Psionic Storm, um, as well as those Mutalists that they're showing. They're just giving us a complete tour of everything that would be great to <laughs> Psy Storm. Um, however, he does have <laughs> unit. Yeah, there you go. Exactly, especially ones that like to clump up, which are all of them. Um, <laughs> but we're seeing. Oh know, no! But, and he's getting his uh, Dark Archon trapped oh. so that Dark. Dark Archon does go down, so even though he has Maelstrom Research, he's not going to be able to do any more of that until he gets more uh, Dark uh, Templar out, which I don't think he's going to do. You know, just uh, that's too much of a resource commitment just for Maelstrom, and he really needs uh, Psy Storm right now. Yeah, and I, I liked how we saw um, Action's thoughts immediately after finding the expansion to send down his uh, his links, but. Harangi's had an answer for pretty much everything action, action has thrown at him so far, um, except for this. Now he doesn't have uh, Maelstrom anymore, and uh, we'll see if those Mutalists can get inside. Yeah, they were uh, balked away by those three cannons, and similarly, three cannons down at... Wow, he's just got a ton of cannons going down right now, and that's uh, a little bit unfortunate, but he's going in with a big uh, Zergling slash Mutalist force down at this third base, and it looks like he probably will be able to take it out. Um, Yes, no, not quite. Uh, Harangi's just able to defend against this, but he's losing all of his probes. He lost all of those cannons there. That was probably four or five cannons. Hopefully he uh, canceled the ones that weren't building, but still, that's that's a big uh, resource loss. And Ooh, good size storm right on that, and bad dodge, but I think he does lose one of those Templar, but he is able to uh, keep the other one alive. So a pretty nice snipe attempt by action, but a pretty good defense by Harangi. And actually, Harangi, that's a really nice play right there. That one DT, action probably won't know about it for another few seconds, that uh, that one DT was able to stop actually that whole expansion by killing that drone. Yeah. Um, He's like, well, you know, if you didn't take it to begin with, you're not getting it now. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Um, it looks like he did bring in some Zerglings to take out that Dark Templar, so that's going to be the end of that. And now he's got a very large Zergling army with some Defilers alongside that's going to be pressing into Harangi right away. And he actually went ahead and did build another Dark Archon, maybe even two Dark Archons. So... Uh, likely to see some more Maelstrom in the future, maybe right now? Yeah, he's... No, he's just going to let those Mutalists die by the uh, uh, the Dragoons, I mean. I guess he's, he's definitely foreseeing, you know, a lot of big clumps of uh, probably Mutalists in this game. So, you know, he's got the uh, Archons for the for the Lynx and the Dark Archons for uh, the Mutalists. Trying to get an answer for everything the Zerglings can throw at him, probably, you know, until he gets carriers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe, and this is... Uh, a couple of control groups of Zerglings that are looking like they were going to go and attack that base in the southwest, but uh, 
Arangi actually able to stop it off? He had, I think, five cannons there. Um, and the Zerglings just weren't ready to go in there without a, def without a Defiler to put some uh, Swarm down on that. Ooh, Ooh, but actually Plague <laughs> coming first for um, for action, so he's uh, he's going for a Plague on all of those Dragoons. He hits uh, all those Dragoons, but he also hits the Dark Archons and uh, the uh, you know, regular Archons. I was trying to think of what the high archon, <laughs> <laughs> the word for that was, but there it's is a good archon. And now he's actually loading for a, up for a drop, so he's got a speed and a drop tech on those overlords, and he's walking right into a group of uh, <laughs> dragoons. But I don't know if those dragoons saw him or if Harangi's able to react to that. Um, it doesn't look he, like Harangi saw it because he would probably send that uh, that observer down there to follow them. It, it looks like, uh, yeah, they're just going to shift a little bit south and still head across the map. I'm just going to throw up a replay re back right there. He's going for all of the Dark Archon tech. I think he just feedbacked the Defiler, but it didn't have full health, so it didn't die right away. Um, however, feedback and Maelstrom both coming out in that. Uh, that's pretty exciting. Um, but here comes that big drop, uh, the Defiler out first, which is a very nice play there, and he's putting down a Dark Swarm. He's going to be able to take out a lot of these cannons. Um, I'm not sure how much is there. He do uh, Ar Harangi does have some High Templar in the area. I think he actually pulled out with that drop. I don't think he dropped everything that he had in there. He saw those High Templar and just didn't want to deal with it. Ooh, nice Dark Templar sniping. He uh, takes out that Defiler, which is critical, and also one of those Lurkers. So um, getting some good kills with those Dark Templar late in the game. Pretty surprising. A uh, ton of dark swarm going down under some lurkers. This is battle for the in the north for the northeast base that action is trying to set up. Um, but this is just magic everywhere from uh, from Harangi. He's spell casting with every unit that you can spell cast with, pretty much. And uh, but he is going to be turned away by that plague and a couple of lurkers underneath. Oh, and that that group is getting flanked, and the first ultra lists are out. I didn't know that. <laughs> Ooh, that's a pretty looking Another maelstrom. Nice but uh, and it's actually doing a. a an extra job of blocking away that Ultralisk, but it's still not going to be enough. That that force of Zerglings and Ultralisks is just too much, and it's going to be able to take down all of this. Um, so, you know, two Dark Archons, as well as a couple of regular Archons and some Zealots, all getting wiped out by uh, Haran... Well, action. <laughs> right, action is doing the wiping out Harangi's <laughs> <laughs> receiving. Um, but still a pretty close game. Um, you know, Harangi, it would be really great if he could stop one of these bases. He's down one base, he needs to try to catch up. He goes for a Templar, a Storm Drop, and actually does a pretty good job in that. Um, clears out the base for a little bit, but uh, he does lose that shuttle and both of those... Uh, those high Templar, so still losing gas, but he is keeping himself in this game a little bit. He needs to keep Action's economy back for just a little bit longer, and uh, hopefully he's going to be able to expand himself to keep himself in this game, but if he doesn't get another expansion, he's going to be in trouble. Yeah, we haven't, I mean, so far we've just seen him, like, uh, counter a lot. He's, he's definitely going after this one expansion, but... I mean, he still hasn't even scouted a whole bunch. He he hasn't touched the uh, the base in the south, the southeast at all, um, and he's put so much resources into teching out these archons uh, that he you know doesn't have a whole lot of options at this point. He really needs to get another base, and uh, he's just got one defensive force left. Yeah, and I, I'm pretty sure he is um, mined out at his main base. He's probably getting pretty thin if he's not already mined out at his natural expansion. So. He, uh, the pressure's really on him right now to, you know, get another expansion and keep himself economically in the game. Um, but I don't know if he has the forces to protect that while it's getting built. He does, he is playing it pretty smart, getting Reavers and Templar, and I'm hoping all of his bases. Oh, and that was a disgusting plague on all of those Zealots. Um, very nice uh, spellcasting by action, and I gotta say, I'm being... I'm pretty impressed with the way Action has been playing um, so far in this game. Keeping Harangi on the back foot, I think Action has really been in control of this uh, for most of the game, but uh, we'll see if Harangi is going to be able to expand and uh, keep himself in this game in the next part.